Hi folks, hope you're doing well today. The talk I'm going to be giving is going to be brief and straightforward as usual and centered around the patron saint of pretentious Portland, Williamsburg, and European hipsters and neats, Mr. Varg Vikernis himself. This is just to remind you all that he's a fraudulent guru of a dim-weighted intelligence and character, and that you need to forget about this loser, along with everything he's ever said, and move on with your lives. Here are several reasons why. He's said a plethora of phenomenally idiotic things in the past, especially in the science department. Examples? People with brown eyes and black hair aren't truly of European extraction and can't be real Europeans. The West Slavs are Sarmatians. Ukrainians are Scythians. Proto-Slavic was a Scythian language. There's no such thing as a Slavic race. There's no such thing as Indo-Europeans. And we don't know how Indo-European languages spread out. Iranians used to be Europeans, but are now mongrels. Moon landings are fake. Turks and Persians who have blonde hair and light-colored eyes are more European than dark-skinned Greeks and Italians are. Catholics, and to a lesser extent the Orthodox, are pagans under the guise of Abrahamists. Scandinavians have a stronger claim to the Frankish heritage than the French do. The language you speak is irrelevant, and so are any archaeological cultures that demonstrate where people groups come from. Flat Earth pseudoscience par excellence. His anti-Christian polemics and paganism-Abrahamism divide is something that many thinkers part of the European New Right literati hold to be a farce and superficial. I've made this point myself about anyone trying to make Iranian affairs about Zoroastrianism versus Islam being disingenuous. No one with half a brain cell or of sound mental and emotional health adopts his lifestyle, and his channel getting terminated is his own fault. Legions of people who used to be his devout fans and disciples now realize he's a bad and dumb person and see right through him and his just as fraudulent wife and his ilk. Let me drop some more truth bombs in classical Kahan fashion. This guy is a murderer, a convict, and an atheist who likes to LARP and who thinks that the gods are just metaphors and symbols and that his Norse ancestors never actually believed in them. He's an unemployed loser who ironically shits on Global South immigrants for being precisely that in addition to a biological threat. When the average Indian or Iranian or even Arab in Europe is a more productive and useful member of society than both him, his wife, or any member of his cult is, and he's an angry and hateful guy in general. His online behavior, especially towards others, is really distasteful and low class. Oh yeah. And he doesn't like Iran, Shah, or Iranians. He dislikes us intensely and thinks that we don't belong in Europe. If he literally thinks that Brazil should be completely depopulated, if he hates Latin American whites with that much of a genocidal passion, just imagine what he thinks of us. He's the polar opposite of Asha in every way, shape, and form. And his music, be it black metal or dungeon synth, is horrible. 99% of the globe is with me on that one. 
Erodimus, the guy he killed, was a degenerate loser who ran a worthless record store and also ran and played in a garbage band that made garbage music too. Mayhem Suck too. the only Norwegian black metal band that's even remotely listenable and outstanding is Dark Throne, and even they've degenerated into something abysmal that's practically annihilated their musical legacy. Let this clip be the landmine and the railroad if you're still on board his train. It's time to get off. And this is where I end my dissertation. Thank you for watching.